Oh my sweet baby. Welcome back to my channel. Obviously by the title, I'm pregnant. I'm still in shock. I wasn't really thinking we were gonna have another baby right now. My youngest is nine months. So definitely wasn't planning this one. We weren't really preventing, but I was definitely thinking I was gonna have like a year or two in between babies if we were gonna have number three which I wasn't even like completely sold on having baby number three yet, but here we are. So if you watched my last video, it was our vacation in June Lake vlog. At the end of it, I announced that we're pregnant. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. It's at the very end. I'll leave a link in the description box. I am now seven weeks. We found out at four weeks. So really early, earlier than I think like I found out with any of my other babies and I'm at my doctor's appointment today. It's my first ultrasound. So I have my ultrasound today and then a doctor's appointment Monday to go over everything. I haven't gone in yet. I got here early so I can record this without kids. <laughs> ultrasound today, which definitely a little nervous about. Um, all the ultrasounds give me a little bit of like PTSD. If you don't know um <laughs> i'll definitely have to like do a separate video on all of it but we actually lost a baby um before killian so it was like four years ago i was almost five months pregnant and it had a bunch of genetic things going on so always the ultrasounds just make me a little nervous, especially the first one because, you know, I feel like a lot can go wrong before you can even say you're pregnant, if that makes sense. Also, it's really weird not having Scott with me. He's never missed an ultrasound appointment and he's watching the kids because you can't bring kids right now. That's a super like rambly introduction, but I feel like I need to kind of get a lot off since I haven't been able to share this. I wanted to go over how I'm feeling, some of my like first symptoms, things like that. And here comes the TMI. So if there are any of my family members watching that doesn't want to hear TMI stuff, any men watching that doesn't want to hear like pregnancy symptoms and body things, please click off. Please like don't watch this if you're a guy. Found out we were pregnant with baby number three because I was getting in the shower and notice that my nips were darker than normal. And if you've been pregnant before, you know that can happen, usually later in pregnancy. I've definitely never had them like change color before I even knew I was pregnant. So I go to Scott and I'm like, um, can you, something different? He looked me dead in the eye when you're freaking pregnant. And I was just like, no, 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 no. I knew that I was because of this. But I was just like, no, 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 this isn't happening. I found a test, took it. Like I've never really had to even wait three minutes. If I'm pregnant, it shows up as like the pee is going across the like dye. And it was red. It wasn't even a pink line, it was red. And I like flip it around, I show Scott and we're just like staring at each other just like, blank faced like we just saw a ghost it was just like what how is this happening it was crazy and Scott's dad and brother and his wife and kids were on their way over to have dinner with us as we're like finding out I'm pregnant where we have to tell them right away because like you can see it on our face that we're just in shock so I like grab Killy's shirt that I use to tell everyone it says big brother parentheses like the original and then I had one that says like little brother for Maverick and that's how I announced with them. So I grabbed the big brother shirt, wrote the middle child and put that over the original and that's like I put that on Maverick and showed them that and it was really cute but it was like last minute it's all I had. I didn't have time to like do anything else so we just like held them up and it's like we're pregnant. It was cute and it worked and I love the picture. Um, there's gonna be lots of pictures probably in this one. 
so I love the picture that we got of Maverick in it. What I'm feeling now and like what I've felt since four weeks, so four weeks, not much happening. Again, I was supposed to start my period like five days after I found out. There's really nothing happening. You probably won't even know you're pregnant at four weeks unless you are trying and you are testing early. Nothing really happening, but since I've been pregnant now like four times, <laughs> I was like, I could tell that like, okay, something feels different. Like I was starting to get the cramps, which feel like period cramps. Straight up, it feels like you're gonna start a period. And those happen throughout the first trimester for me at least, definitely like in the beginning. And I assume that's like the implantation and just things growing and stretching. I'm still all like kind of stretched out from Maverick. Like I have not healed, I don't think stomach wise so i think things just kind of like muscle memory i call it ballooning of my like uterus i guess i don't know there's just like up, up top it just kind of felt like a balloon so nothing really going on week four and five now six weeks we were in june lake and that's when my nausea started super tired nausea i don't throw up when pregnant i'm just nauseous like all the time with the boys I would get nauseous at like three o'clock on the dot and all night long this one is all over the place I've woken up nauseous been nauseous all day certain smells will trigger me to be nauseous and then I'm nauseous all day or like there's some days that I'm not really nauseous I'm just like ugh, like you just don't feel good and that's probably my biggest thing is even if I'm not nauseous I'm just like Ugh, it just doesn't feel good. You just don't feel good. I'm always so thirsty the first like weeks of pregnancy and I feel like almost all of it It's just you cannot quench your thirst at all And I pretty much just drink water and it's just like not enough It's like almost impossible to be diagnosed with it, but it's called like SPD I'll like write it out because it sounds like an STD and I don't want to say it But it's basically your body produces too much uh, relaxant hormone and it causes like your vagina to feel like you've been punched repeatedly. If you move a certain way, if you go upstairs, if you roll over in bed, it literally feels like you're bruised. I got that the worst with Killian and with Maverick, I didn't get that, but my hips felt really sore in the first trimester. Like it felt like I was doing, um, what is that called? Like the thigh ma is it thigh master? Like that old like exercise like thing with your thighs, but they were sore like I was like working out and I wasn't. And then I read that that is part of the SPD thing. So I know I have that for sure because of Killian's pregnancy. It was awful. If anyone is like, oh, I feel like I've had that before. Let me know and I can like go over more of like that in a different video, but I haven't had that yet except like a little bit i'm feeling it like a little at times but it's not bad yet and i'm hoping that that just doesn't happen this time because it's bad a lot of people call it lightning crotch and it's not lightning crotch lightning crotch happens like your last few weeks or like last trimester this was my whole pregnancy none of that yet so far it's just like the off feeling and nausea lots of food aversions for me it's things that i didn't want as a kid so like eggs, meat, steak. I don't, ugh. The smell of like meat cooking makes me want to throw up. I was making meatballs the other night. And I was like in my shirt because it, was, it smelled so bad. And since I'm gluten free, this has been even harder because I want pizza and Taco Bell and things that I am not supposed to eat. I did have taco last night because it's the only thing that sounded good. So far I feel fine today. I'm hoping that I'll be able to like eat naughty foods because I don't want to eat paleo right now. It's not happening. I don't want a sweet potato and chicken. I want pizza. I'll keep you guys updated on that. So far that's it. Just a lot of food aversions. Like even thinking about food right now is making me want to throw up, but I haven't thrown up yet, which is a plus. Um, I'm trying to think like my boobs haven't gotten sore yet. I know that that will come and that's really it I'm definitely not doing like a bump update because it's just like saggy postpartum belly still um, I don't really know if I'll be like showing my bump it's just not something that I'm comfortable with if you follow me on Instagram and you've 
known me for a while, you know I don't do maternity pictures. I've never posted a bump picture, to be honest. I don't like pregnancy. That's why I really wasn't thinking we were gonna be pregnant anytime soon. Yeah, I've never had like fun pregnancies. They've always been like painful and having Hashimoto's and not realizing it, I would swell up obviously because I was eating, you know, not the best and it's just never been fun. Like, I feel like in all of my like weekly updates, fingers crossed, like everything goes good today in this ultrasound, I will be comparing them just because that's how my mind works and it's like, oh, this isn't as bad as I felt at this stage with Killian or with Maverick. So that'll probably just come naturally, but if you have any questions on like specifics from the past pregnancies, just let me know. Okay, but I need to get ready for this appointment. I have to do like an online registration real quick. I will talk to you guys after my appointment. Either way, that's just how I am. I'm very open with pregnancies and I want to share with you guys how this one goes. I'll see you guys home. So I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so just got out and there's a baby in there with a heartbeat. I don't know why I was so nervous going into this ultrasound. Uh, it was, I don't know, I think it's because it was like, I didn't really want to be pregnant. So I always just feel like there's gonna be some sort of like karma to that. If that makes sense, I don't know, so. I'm definitely like relieved and very, very happy. She let me take a little video of like the heartbeat. You obviously can't see much. They also didn't have to do the um, type of ultrasound, if you know what I mean. She was able to find it just through my belly. So that was also um, very nice. But um, I think that's it for this video this sort of update bring you guys up to speed type video just so freaking relieved and happy right now if anything else kind of pops up during this seven week symptomy thing then I will like somehow let you guys know I'm just really happy right now I need to go home I sent him the little video um, but I need to relieve him of his father duties <laughs> thank you guys for watching I hope if you are not subscribed that you will subscribe so you can follow me on my last baby <laughs> pregnancy. I'm super excited to be able to record and have this whole pregnancy hopefully documented. If there is anything you want to know for my next update video, just leave me a comment or find me over on Instagram and DM me. Like I said, I'm so okay with being open on my past pregnancies and going forward with this one. I think it's what we need. You know, there's so much taboo around announcing early and, you know, in case something goes wrong, which like hopefully nothing goes wrong. But, you know, I think it's important to share, you know, if I have a YouTube, if I have an Instagram where I am talking about like real life stuff, this is real life and things that are happening in this early pregnancy stage is very real and you know if anyone else is in the same stage I really hope that you know we can connect and go through this together because I remember when I first was pregnant with Killian who's now three I was all over YouTube looking for like early symptoms and it's just nice to know that like someone else is going along with this too so with that I remember I used to get and I still do when I first find out I'm pregnant I get like runny noses and headaches. That's like another one that I would get. And then with Killian, I got a bloody nose and a cough for like a few months. And those are like very rare, like random symptoms. So I forgot about those, but very early. But again, I'm just rambly because it's just still kind of crazy to me that this is happening. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <music>
Cause I've always been told that things will